All right, BFit Nation, just waiting to get tuned in here. All right, looks like we are live. So welcome, BFit Nation. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday with our BFit Live program. Before I get started, I want to send a quick shout out to the team over at Fort Leonard Wood here. I'm going to, I'm wearing a shirt that I received from Fort Leonard Wood. I went ahead and went over there uh, this past Saturday to have a BFit live workout and training program with our trainees, with our customers. And what a great group they have over there at Fort Leonard Wood. Uh, extended my many thanks to the team once again and the soldiers and Marines that ended up training and going through a BFit live workout, just like we do here on our Motivational Mondays with myself for our BFit program. All right. So many thanks to y'all once again at Fort Leonard Wood. If you wanna go ahead and check out that video of our workout below on our Facebook page, scroll down after this workout and go ahead and take a look at uh, that BFIT Live as well over down below on our Facebook page. So welcome team once again to our BFIT Live program. I'd like to send a great strong welcome to my teammate, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning, Ray. I'm doing good. Happy Monday, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. Happy Monday. And once again, it's time to start the week off nice and strong with us here. So remember to progress as we progress through week after week. We're looking to build off of those foundational points and those movements that we usually that we start off, you know, week after week. So we have a hybrid workout for you today. We have a, a bit of cardio based movements and some resistance based movements to help strengthen ourselves as we move along. So if you have any dumbbells, if you have any kettlebells, if you have anything with handles, go ahead and grab those right now. Uh, we will be on the floor uh, for movement number four. <laughs> um, so if you have a mat uh, for comfort, go ahead and grab that as well. Grab some water, grab a towel, let's get settled in. I will demonstrate the four movements uh, before we get started. And then we'll go into some dynamic stretching and then we'll move along through our workout to finish us out nice and strong. So once again, welcome team. Our timing for today, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We will go through four rounds with one minute rest in between each one of those rounds. Once again, 40 of work, 20 of rest, four movements, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, team, drop us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're watching us from. Um, as I pull us up right here, if you have any questions, comments, or motivational um, things to say to one another, another, leave them in the comments below. And again, we love to see them. We love to read them. And we love to see where you're joining us from, where you're watching from, where you're engaging from, and where you're working out from. So let's get started here. Let's go on to uh, through our four movements here. That way we know exactly what to take, uh, that we're going to exactly what we're going to get into before we get started. Uh, listen for any coaching cues, any tips, any tricks, any techniques any uh, proper form etiquette before, um, before we get started. So movement number one, exercise number one, we're gonna go through a squat to bicep curl. So if you have any resistance, go ahead and grab that now. If not, we wanna go ahead and just make a nice strong fist with our hands here. But for movement number one, we are looking to go down into a squat with a combo movement of a bicep curl. So feet are gonna be shoulder width apart here. <clears throat> actually wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna go down into a sumo squat. Sumo squat to bicep curl. So palms are gonna be facing the front of the room here with a wide stance into a sumo squat. Toes are gonna be pointed just slightly turned outward here. We're gonna go down into a sumo squat. So that back and those hips go back and down. Those knees track over our toes, keeping our chest up nice and proud. So down and back with that sumo squat. From here, you're up into a bicep curl at that standing position. Control that movement back down, palms facing the front of the room once again. Down into a sumo squat, stand up nice and tall, and then you're into a bicep curl, okay? That's movement number one. Try to keep your back nice and flat. Head is in alignment with that spine with that sumo squat, okay? Knees tracking over the front of our toes once again. Number two, we're gonna take a half knee stance. So right on the floor here, single dumbbell in one hand. So lead leg goes up into that kneeling, half kneel, and then you're going to go into a front rack position with that <clears throat> shoulder press. So kneeling shoulder press, single arm here. We're gonna take opposite hand to opposite knee. So whatever knee is up, my left knee is up, my right 
hand, my right arm is going to press up to that overhead press position. Re-rack and then press up, okay? Try to keep your chest up nice and proud again. And that bicep meets your ear as you extend up into that overhead press position, all right? Re-rack, reload, and then pressing up to isolate our shoulder, okay? So that's gonna be 20 seconds of work on each arm, all right? So 20 seconds in, we do work on one side, we alternate, re-rack, and then activate our opposite side. So left arm and right arm get both activation. All right, exercise number three, a combo movement here of some plyo movements to get our heart rate elevated with 10 A steps and two squat jumps, okay? So think about A steps as more of a sprinter movement here. Single leg goes into that high knee um, <clears throat> and opposite hand to opposite knee. So think about a skip with a single leg high knee drive, right? Opposite hand to opposite knee. Nice power movement here to get us nice and activated, working on some explosiveness, working on some explosiveness as we go through those 10 A steps, keeping on the balls of our feet, on our toes, driving up that knee, lean forward just a little bit as if you were sprinting, okay? That's gonna be 10 A steps. After that, we follow up with two squat jumps to break up those 10 A steps. So after those 10 A steps, drop down into a squat jump, one, two, load up, explode, and then you're back into 10 A steps, okay? Nice soft landings off of those toes for those 10 A steps and then those two squat jumps. And then exercise number four, we're moving down onto the deck here for ab twist. 10 to be exact. So heels are going to be on the floor. We are going to recline back into a 45 degree angle. Back is flat. Head is looking up with those ab curls. I'm sorry, ab twists. So hands meet hip on opposite side. Your torso should twist as well once you hit that left side and right side. So after those 10 ab twists, we're going to quickly move around into that high plank position, drop down into two push-ups, and then right back over and right back into our 10 ab twists. All right, remember with those push-ups, hands are stacked underneath our shoulders for the most stability, keeping that back flat, those hips square as we push down, chest hits deck, head looks down, and then we push and extend right back up to standing position. So those are the four movements for today. How does that sound, team? How does that sound, BFIT Nation? All right, <laughs> Cheyenne, Fort Leonard Wood. Yes, ma'am. Ray, good to see you, Clarksville. All right. Thank you for joining us once again. All right, Sergeant Barry, looks like we are good to go. So just like we do before every workout, we're looking to get our bodies prepared and ready to work. So with that dynamic stretching, I know we have a few favorites that we go through for today. So let's start that off with that dynamic quad stretch. All right, right leg goes back, left hand goes up. All right, you should feel this stretch in your hips, your hip flexors, your quad as it extends back towards your glutes and that hand raises nice and tall to really open up the shoulder blades, that mid to upper back and your shoulder, okay? Alternate left leg and right leg at your pace, okay? If you wanna stay in one side a little bit longer, go ahead and do that. This is a great time to kind of scan your body here, really see how we're performing for today. Every day is different. We may be tighter. We may be coming off of a little bit more of seat time, some sitting time. So it's time to warm up those hips. Focus on our breathing as well. Left leg back, right arm up, extending that arm a little bit higher, pushing those hips a little bit more forward. Good, all right, team. Let's go into lateral lunges here just to open up our hips once again. Feet fixed forward, nice wide stance here. We're just looking to shift our weight to the left and then to the right, really feeling our inner thigh stretch out, get some blood flow to our lower extremities here. Chest is up. Nice and proud, nothing too aggressive here. Sit in, if you wanna sit down into that lateral lunge for a little bit longer, a little pause, one, two, three seconds. Feel free and do that. If not, we are bouncing, one second, one second. Feeling that stretch within our inner thigh. Good, really just feeling out our bodies here. Seeing where we are for today. Three, 
to last rep here. All right, team, let's come up to the top of our space here. We're gonna go into a reverse, reverse lunge. Hands come together, drop down into that reverse lunge and a nice soft overhead reach, really opening up our lats here and our hip flexors, our hips. Again, quads are activating, hamstrings are starting to wake up, glutes are firing up. Good, good, good. Go through at your pace here, alternate left leg, right leg. Back to standing. Good, making sure we drop those hips back and down, a little bit of a 90 degree bend on that front leg. As you go down into that reverse lunge, hands come up and over. Good. Focus on your breathing as well. Last two reps here. One and one more. Good. All right, team. YTWs to round this out for our dynamic stretching. Let's go into that big Y. Feet shoulder width apart. Nice proud stance here from that center part into that Y. Back to center. Into that T. Stretching left and right as far as we can. Shoulder blades come together. Big W here. Nice, proud. All right, big Y once again. Warming up some blood flowing to our shoulders. Big T. Scapula retracts. Shoulder blades come together. And then big W once again. Really kind of feeling that one out. Last round here, big Y. Focus on that breathing, big T. Breathing under control, big W. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. All right, team. Bringing us back down here before we get started. <laughs> All right. All right, Gloria, thank you for joining us, Georgia. <clears throat> All right, team, let's get our timer started here. Once again, movement number one, we have a squat to a bicep curl. So a nice lower body, upper body combo movement. Number two, we have a kneeling shoulder press right here with that half knee forces us to stabilize with our core and isolate our shoulder with that shoulder press. Number three, 10 A steps, working on some plyo movements here and then two squat jumps. And exercise number four, we are reclining back to go into 10 ab twists with two push-ups to round us up. All right, looks like our timer is started. Ready to go, let's lower this volume. 10 seconds here we have squat to bicep curl coming up in eight seconds. All right, first round we learn it, second round, third round, fourth round, we push up. All right, two, one, 40 seconds on the clock, sumo squat here into that bicep curl. Nice controlled movement with that sumo squat here. No rush when we are working with our weights. Think about pushing those hips back and down and then squeezing at the top with that bicep curl. Good, try to sit back, knees track over the front of our toes, last 15 seconds here. Hands are facing forward, nice proud chest. Elbows are tucked in close to our torso. Good, last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. 40 seconds of rest here. Dropping one dumbbell, keeping one dumbbell, knee, kneeling shoulder press with that single arm. All right, 10 seconds here. I'm taking my right knee down, my left leg is up. Right hand racks the weight in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Nice control movement here with your shoulder press. Single arm, 20 seconds of work on each side. So let's go at our own pace here. Less than 10 seconds, five seconds left here. And then we will alternate three, two, alternating in one second. Here we go, let's alternate team. Left leg goes down, right leg goes up, re-rack and press. Good, try to keep those shoulders nice and square to the front of the room. Palm faces the front of the room as well, pushing overhead, three, two, one. Last rep and time. Good job, good job. We're dropping that dumbbell. We are standing up nice and tall. We have 10 A steps and two jump squats to get our heart rate elevated, okay? Remember those 10 A steps, it's like a skip, working off the balls of our feet here, opposite hand drives, opposite knee. Two, one, here we go team, 10 A steps. 
really drive forward, really think about like a sprint like. Out of those 10, we reset, load up, two jump squats, and then we are back into those 10 A steps. Nice power drive, nice powerful movement here. Out of those 10, once again, drive up one, two jump squats, absorb that weight. Good. Let's go to our comfort level here. If our knees aren't as high, we are running in place. If we do not jump, that's fine. Last two seconds, last one and time. Good job, good job, good job. Way to finish that one out, Sergeant Barry, I see you, good job. All right, all right, we are back on the floor here. 10 ab twists and two push-ups to round out round number one, okay? Leaning back here in three, two, one. Here we go, 10 ab twists. Nice and comfortable here, heels on the floor. If not, they can be elevated as well. Out of those 10 ab twists, we have two push-ups. Nice and quick rotation over into those two push-ups. Nice, strong push-up position. Back on deck for those 10 ab twists. 20 seconds left here. Good job, good job, stay with us. Good, last 10 seconds. You're turning over nice and quickly for those push-ups and right back over, finishing out in five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. Good job, good job, team. How are we doing? <laughs> Sergeant Barry, I see you, I see you. Good job, good job. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> As we say with the first round, first round, we learned the movements. First round, we learned our form. We've tested ourselves. Our body is awake now, our body is warm. So from here on out, it's time to push ourselves, time to challenge ourselves, giving us a little bit more uh, effort and a little bit more of your strength, okay? Good, 25 seconds, let's get our breathing under control. Carla, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you here on our BFIT Live. 15 seconds here, we have squat to bicep curl coming up. I'll scale up myself, last 10 seconds. Grab our dumbbells, grab our weight. Sumo squat here, sumo squat position in three, two, palms facing the front of the room, dropping down and let's work team. 40 seconds on the clock. Think about driving up through your heels as you sit back into that squat, <sighs> standing up. Nice control movement with that bicep curl. Keeping that chest up nice and proud. Gaze is looking straight ahead. Think about our breathing as well. Nice deep breath in on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Good, last 12. Good job. Sergeant Barry has it. Good work. Out in five, three, two, last rep and time. Good, good, good. Drop one dumbbell here, half kneeling, shoulder press with a single arm. Good, two for one with that last one. We're looking to isolate with movement number two. Five seconds here, left knee goes up, right knee's down, right hand has the weight, two, one. Here we go. Shoulder press, 20 seconds on each side. Good, really isolating our single arm shoulder press. Five seconds, we are switching, we are alternating from that right hand to that left in two, one, and let's alternate here. Left knee down, right knee up, re-rack, left hand presses up. Good. Hand on hip, hand on quad, hand on chest, wherever it may be. Hand out to the side for balance and stabilization. Last two, one, and time. Good job, good job. That single leg up really forcing us to stabilize once again, pivoting and pushing, right? Working on some counterbalance there. 10 seconds, we have 10 A steps and two squat jumps. Here we go, team. Three, two, catch our breath here, warm it up. All right, 10 A steps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, reset, squat jumps here. Good, and then we're back into 10 powerful A steps, really driving those hands, driving those knees. Good, good. 
Driving up, trying to get a little bit of air in between you and the floor. Last 14 seconds. Good. Good job, good job. Out in four, three, two, one, and time. All right. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. 10 seconds here, let's grab our breath here. 10 ab twists and two push-ups, okay? What I want you to do is try and rotate into those two push-ups as quickly as possible. We are on deck here, reclining back, two, one. All right, 10 ab twists here. Six, seven, 10, quickly. How quick can we turn over into those two push-ups? And how quickly can we turn back into those ab twists? Recline back, heels could be on the floor or in the air. Good. 20 and out. Good. Last 10 seconds here. We're thinking about a reactive movement as we move from twist to push up out in five, four, three, two, one, and time. I just rolled over <laughs> in circles right there. <laughs> All right, take a breath, catch your breath, catch your breath. Good job, team. Good job. Second round is done. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Make sure to hydrate. Make sure to towel off. Good job. Stay with us. Stay with us. Sergeant Barry, how are you feeling? Yeah, I feel great. <laughs> Good. Like the you like? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Right, so that's the first time we've introduced like an A step, which is um, a, a good running movement to, to warm up with. If you're looking for a little bit of a, a warm up for running for sprinting, opening up those hips, driving those knees up, really focuses on some hip flexor movement, some fast switching movements, just like we do when we run. Five seconds here, let's grab that weight. Squat to bicep curl, coming up in three, two, one, sumo squat, and let's go team, third round. Drop it down, control, drive through your heels. Palm comes up towards our face. <sighs> nice strong movement here. Good. Good work team. I know we are doing shoulder presses on the next movement, but if you were looking to scale this movement up, you can go from sumo squat to bicep curl to overhead press and then control that movement back down. If you were looking to scale it up. Last three seconds here, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. Drop one of those weights here or scale up for us if you have the option. Last 10 seconds of rest here. Left knee is up, right knee is down. Right hand has the weight, it is racked, ready to go. Two, one. All right, team, 20 seconds of work here. Bicep cups up. Almost meets our ear, right? Nice strong movement, really focusing on pushing up into that overhead press in a controlled movement. Three seconds, and we are alternating. Two, one. All right, team. Left knee is down, right knee is up. Left hand has the weight, left hand is pressing. Good. Focus on our breathing once again. Exhale on the way up. Out in five, stabilizing. Three, two, one, and time. Good job, 20 seconds of rest here. Our favorite is coming up, 10 A steps, <laughs> two squat jumps. Good, good. Think about powerful movements here. Remember that opposite hand to opposite knee. Try to lean forward just a little bit as if you were running. Here we go, two, one, let's go team, driving up. Opposite hand, opposite knee, 10 of these. And then you have two squat jumps. One, nice load, explode. Good. Good, 20 seconds here. Good, 18 and out. Good, nine, 10. I'm counting out loud for myself. <laughs> Seven seconds here, last five. Finish it out, three, two, one. 
Time, 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 time. Catch your breath. Catch our breath. Good job, team. Good job. If we wanted to scale up our ab twists, if you have any weights available to you, this would be a great time for those ab twists. Coming up in five seconds, we are on the floor. Three, two, one. Even more so, we can lift up those knees and heels off the floor. Reclining back 45 degree here. Out of those 10 ab twists, we are back down to those two push-ups. Nice and quick movements here, dropping back. Good, halfway there. Good, think about rotating over the opposite direction. Right side, left side. Good, last eight seconds. Out in five, three, two, one, and time. Good job, team, good job. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Let's do not forget to hydrate here. Mm. I know in some places the weather is starting to warm up nice and hot. So do not forget to hydrate. Team, how are we doing? How are we looking, VFit Nation? Who's with us? Simon Barry and I are here to challenge you, but we are with you every step of the way every rep of the way, 20 seconds here. <laughs> ah. All right, catching our breath here. Squat the bicep curl coming up in 10 seconds. Really focus on finishing up this last and final round. Five seconds here, three, two, one. Sumo squat the bicep curl. Here we go. Dropping those hips down. Nice controlled movements once again. Good, driving up through our heels, sitting back, knees tracking over our toes or 90 degree bend. Good, down, chest is up, chest stays up. Nice proud chest here. Good, 15 and out. Out in 10. How are we doing nation, stay with us. Out in three. Two, I count slow, one, and time, there it is. There it is, drop one weight here. 20 seconds of rest, you won't see that one again. <laughs> 10 seconds here, left knee is up, right knee is down. Right hand has the weight coming up in five. We are racked, ready to go. Three, two, one, here we go team. Nice controlled movements, once again, 20 seconds of work on each side. Hand can be out for stabilization. It can be forward for balance. It'd be on our hip, it'd be on our quad, wherever is comfortable. Three seconds here and we alternate arms. Two, one, and alternate. Left knee down, right knee up. Left hand has the weight. Left hand is pressing. Good. Good, nice control movements here. Exhaling on the way up. Good, out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, drop the weight. You won't see that one again. Good, good, good. Make some room for ourselves. 10 A steps, two jump squats, eight seconds. Finish us out, last round, best round. Yes, ma'am. Best round, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, here we go, 40 seconds on the clock, let's go. 10 A steps, two jump squats. If we can explode up a little bit more, maybe raise our tempo a little bit faster. Let's do it. Last round, best round, like Sergeant Barry said. Good, good. Really think about jumping up, grabbing some air. Good. Out in 10. Good job, Sergeant Barry. There you go, there you go, there you go. Three, two, last rep and time. Good job, way to finish it out team. There you go. Good job, way to finish it out, way to finish it out. Let's catch our breath, 10 ab twists, two pushups coming up for the last and final round, last and final set. Let's get down here in three, two, 
one. Here we go, last round, best round. Last set, best set. 10 ab twist, two push-ups. Let's see how quick we can turn over to those push-ups. Ah. Good. Back down, ab twist, reclining back. Think about that head in that neutral position, looking up a little bit upward here. Nice strong push up. Finish it out here. Last 10 seconds. Out in three, two, one. All right, team. <laughs> and time, time, time. Good job. I'm getting a call saying that it's time. <laughs> <laughs> good job team good job as we catch our breath as we recap as we look to hydrate here once again we went through 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest we went through four movements which were hybrid type of movements right focusing on cardio based and some resistance based movements to help strengthen targeted muscle groups that we are looking for for that specific muscle group and for those movements okay and then um yeah, we were <laughs> challenged ourselves, but most of all, we had a lot of fun doing it while we were here, okay? It's all about having fun. It's all about encouraging, motivating, and keeping ourselves and those around us accountable to keep active, to stay ready, to stay resilient, and to stay fit with us. Simon so, Barry, I see you stretching out, cooling off. How are you doing with after today's workout? Yeah, I love today's workout. I guess I have a new favorite. It was good. You know, I feel healthy and energized and it was just such a great way to start off the week. So I'm excited. Absolutely. Absolutely. And again, it's what you put in is what you're going to get out of it. So if you keep pushing yourselves through today's workout, it can be as challenging uh, for you as it, as it needs to be. Uh, you can scale up a lot of these movements. You can scale up the weight. You can scale up the plyo movements. You could scale up the effort that you give to the workout. But Again, it's that benchmark starting off our Monday nice and strong. Okay, anything after this, all right, should be downhill. Okay, if we give ourselves that full max effort. But once again, it's a great way to start to start the week. Okay, so Be Fit Nation, I hope that you enjoyed today's hybrid style of workouts. Any last words, Sergeant Barry, before we take off? Uh, thanks again for joining us. Have a great week. Yes, ma'am. You said it. You said it. All right. Roy here signing off. Have a great week.